This is how to work with half-life and first-order reactions. Consider the first-order reaction, SO2Cl2, going to SO2 and Cl2, with a half-life of 245 minutes at 600 K. How long does it take for the concentration of SO2Cl2 to drop from 8.2 millimolar to 5.3 millimolar? Okay, in order to do this, we actually need to do this in two parts. The first thing we need to do is find the rate constant. The rate constant for a first order reaction is equal to natural log of 2 divided by the half-life. So that would be natural log of 2 divided by 245 minutes, which turns out to be 0 0.00. 2829 and it's got units of minutes to the minus 1. That's the first piece. Now the second piece says that we can use the formula natural log of original concentration over concentration at some time t is equal to kt. We would like to solve for temperature or time rather t. So we will write in our original concentration is 8.2. Our concentration at some unknown time is 5.3. And they're both millimolar. That's fine. The units will cancel. Is equal to 0 0.002829 minutes to the minus 1 times whatever time this occurs at. So we'll just solve for t. T turns out to be equal to 154 minutes. And I guess just to be concerned about sig figs, I could put 1.5 times 10 to the second power minutes is equal to my time. Okay. Well, now that I've got that all important rate constant, I can do part B very quickly. I'll use the same formula, natural log of 5.3 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.002829 minutes to the minus 1 times my time. And this time t is equal to 344 or 3.4 times 10 to the second power minutes. Okay, part C. If the original concentration of SO2Cl2 is 6.5 millimolar, what is the concentration after 24 hours? All right, here we go again, same formula. Natural log. We know we start at 6.5 millimolar, and we're trying to solve for the concentration at time t. So I'll put in you know, A, which represents some concentration, subscript T, is equal to my rate constant, which is the 0 0.002829 minutes to the minus 1, and 24 hours. And I need to note that there are 60 minutes for every one hour, because I do need to make sure I get the units so that everything cancels out. So, on the one side, I will have natural log of 6.5 over some unknown concentration is equal to 4.07376. Now, to get rid of that natural log, I guess I will take things to the E. So I will move this to 6.5 over A at some time T is equal to E raised to that value, which is 58.778, um, okay? And I will solve for A at time T. That has to equal 6.5 divided by that value and it turns out to be 0 0.11 and the units on that would be millimolar. That is my answer for that. 
Okay. Last one. How long will it take for the reaction to be 90% complete? All right. Well, I don't know the exact concentrations, but I know when it starts, it's at 100%. And when we're at 90% complete, we're at 10% concentration of A. So if in my formula I take natural log of 100 over 10, that will represent we're starting at 100% and now we have 10% left, which means we're 90% complete. And that has to be equal to my read constant. and I am trying to solve for time. And that turns out to be 814 minutes is equal to time, or 8.1 times 10 to the second power of minutes is equal to the time at which we are 90% complete. And that's how you work with first order reactions and half-lives.